Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you one of the most important klezmer modes, the Ahava Raba, also known as the Fregish. Now when I was a kid and learning the violin, uh, the worst thing was learning scales and practicing scales and I'm sure it was the same for you as well. Uh, like it was nothing more painful and boring than... If only my teacher had shown me... straight away. I would have been practicing hours a day instead of uh, minutes a week. Um, so uh, Poppy has asked me to do a video on the Ahava Rava which is what we've got now. So thank you Poppy for asking. I really love this scale. First of all let me show you how, how the scale works. It's a major scale because it's got a major third in it but it starts off on the, the D, assuming we're in the key of D, with a minor second, which is pretty unusual. And uh, because it's a mode and not a scale, it's not necessarily the same in an upper or a lower octave. And in this case, when you get down to the lower octave, the B is natural. Uh, rather than uh, flat. So if you were starting off on the B, if you're starting off on the lower B, and uh, if you just ornamented it a little bit, little bit with some uh, vibrato trill and some downward slides, it'll sound much better. I've written at the end of the scale uh, three chords, which are basically the chords derived from the scale. And if you are trying to work out the chords to go to any particular tune that is in this mode, then that will help you a lot. So the root, if we start on the root, then obviously it, make, it shows you that it's in the key of D and most of the chords are going to be on a D. If something's starting on a G, it's going to have a B flat and it's going to have a D, so that's going to be a G minor. That's the four chord. Um, the seven chord, if it's on a C, it's going to be C minor. So you get that just by looking at the notes on the scale. <coughs> why is it called a Havaraba and why does it have two different names? A Havaraba is the name of the prayer that this is used for, uh, called Abounding Love, which is used in the synagogue on the Sabbath morning. Um, but it's also known as the Fregish, which is a Yiddish word uh, derived from Phrygian, which is uh, one of the church modes more um, familiar to classical musicians and it's pretty close to the Phryg to the Phrygian so it can be known as either of these it was introduced to uh, Eastern Europe by the Tatar and Mongol tribes who entered Asia Minor from the 13th century from where it spread into the Middle East and the Balkans uh, let's, let, let me show you some exercises just to help you up and down the scale so we start off below the octave and then and again Now 
Now because this is modal rather than a normal scale, the key signature is uh, slightly misleading. So it's written with two flats, but all of the Fs are written as F sharps, as accidentals. Uh, there, it could have been written in different ways, so sometimes you will see two flats and a sharp in the um, key signature, but I think that is uh, even more confusing. Uh, there's a quote from Abraham Idelson, uh, whose book, uh, Jewish Music in its Historical Development. It, the Ahava Rabba, became a real channel of Jewish expression, especially for moods of great excitement, for the stirring passion of pain, of love and faith in God. The more the Jewish people in these countries were persecuted for their religion, the more passionate became their expression of love for it. And uh, I think you can feel straight away, if you are not Jewish and not used to this music, you can immediately feel the power of it. And I do well remember uh, one of the first workshops I ever gave, it was at a folk festival and um, I had about 20 people uh, with the violins all uh, coming to learn uh, the Ahava Rabba. <laughs> and as soon as I played it, a woman at the front started bursting into tears. And it wasn't because it was really bad what I was doing, it was because she was so moved by the simple uh, notes of the scale, which is really quite something. Uh, if you want examples of tunes that use this, uh, Lebedic und Freilek, uh, Havanagila, Tanz Tanz Yiddelek are common ones. The tune I'm going to show you is Sherala, which is uh, something I've actually did a video for uh, quite a long time ago. Uh, so if you want to learn more about this tune, then refer to that video. But we're just going to run through it as an example. And I'm going to go straight through the ornaments and stuff uh, without worrying about them. Uh, but it is, it is an example that really nicely uses this, this mode. If you'd like a copy of the dots, uh, then do subscribe and send me an email and I'll send you a copy. And if you want to learn more about klezmer, I do have a book exploring klezmer fiddle, which has a whole load of tunes and much more detail about all the different scales and ornaments and the history of klezmer. Uh, I hope you'll learn more and I hope to see you again soon.